What's up everybody? Welcome to BioS3 Raw TV. Tonight we're talking about something and it pains me. Like I don't want to talk about this one bit. Like it's not that I don't want to talk about it. It, it bothers me to have to talk about this, but it's real. It's real life and it's legit and it's in your face. And this is the reality that, um, that we face with a lot of these, I don't want to say a lot of these, but some of these idols that we hold up on pedestals. We put them on pedestals and we look at them like they're larger than life and they could do no wrong, etc., etc. And uh, Robbie Robinson had recently been diagnosed, well, that wasn't recent, I guess it was like last month, he'd been diagnosed with sickle cell anemia and he was having some complications. He was very sick. So he didn't wind up going to the hospital. Now, as that happened, the latest fad for many people and companies or whatever is to start these GoFundMe pages, right? It's basically to beg for money. It's like fucking panhandling online is pretty much what it is. And I've seen people start them for various reasons. And don't get me wrong, there are people that are legitimately in need that I feel like, you know, could benefit from these things that that really are just down in their luck. And maybe they would literally start a GoFundMe page for someone else. Like, it's not really all about greed all the time. But most of the time, these GoFundMe pages are stuff for like, I want to compete and it's very expensive. So I'm starting a GoFundMe page. I need $25,000 to compete this year. And you're like, what the fuck? Like, but you don't have a job. No, I can't work because I have to compete. So I can't work. What the fuck? But you want GoFundMe page people to give so you can compete? Get the fuck out of here, right? Just dumb shit like that. Or like, you'll see people like, yeah, I'm down and out. I need money for this, money for that. And then they got a fucking video of themselves. They live in California smoking weed. And you're like, how the fuck can you afford weed if you're so goddamn broke? Like, what the fuck? Like, it's just big scams, right? So Robbie gets the, you know, the money that he needs from this GoFundMe page, which, you know, I, I thought it was a good thing. I'm like, here's a guy who, you know, helped... A lot of things in the sport. Now, I don't know if he helped a lot of people. That's the thing. Robbie Robinson is known for being in Pump and Iron and being one of the guys that, um, you know, kind of pioneered with Arnold as far as bodybuilding goes, as well as being the actual physique that was that Joe Weider bust, like that statue. The physique is actually Robbie Robinson with Joe Weider's head on it. So, like, he's been around a while, you know, and, and he's, quote, unquote, a legend in the sport, although I'm not really sure what he's done other than, like, compete in... You know, I've never heard of anybody go, oh, he's a great guy, he helped me with this, or I've never seen him train anybody that did anything. So it's like, I don't really know what he does other than work out, be in magazines, and, and be inspirational, be yes, inspirational, and be inspirational for being in magazines and for being like one of Arnold's friends. Like, that's kind of what I know about Robbie Robinson. I've never met him. It's not like he goes to the expos and stuff. I mean, you know, I guess if you go to Gold's Gym, you can run into him, but, you know, it's not like he's out there trying to make the sport grow, or he's trying to fucking, you know, help people. I mean, that's not really kind of what Robbie Robinson does, right? So, the part that is disheartening is the um, the GoFundMe page, I guess, that he had. Robbie decided that it wasn't good enough. Meaning, this is where it, fuck, it sucks, right? So, he puts up a post on his Instagram. I'm going to read it right off here. It says, um, this photo was taken past Monday. Um, it, it's got a picture of him flexing. He looks good. I mean, he's like 70 years old. He's fucking shredded still. So, genetics are, you know, fucking... Genetics are heavy with this motherfucker. Anyways... Um, he said, uh, then he's off to the hyperbaric chamber after his chest workout um, at the hospital for two hour sessions to help increase the red blood cell count oxygen level. Um, slowly but surely, positive things will happen. Problems are cutting edge that distinguishes between success and failure. Problems create our courage and wisdom. If everyone, if everyone of my, here's the thing, he's got like these inspirational stuff about how he's healing and stuff. Then he goes on to say, if every one of my 71.1 thousand followers have not donated one dollar to the um, the Robbie Robinson GoFundMe page. I am disappointed in capital letters. Um, then it's time for me to cancel my Facebook and Instagram pages. I thought we were a team. You guys have a great day, Robbie Robinson. What? You're gonna cancel your social media because people didn't give you money? Now he wants seventy one thousand dollars instead of the seven thousand dollars because he feels like his fans should give him a dollar each. Now let's break this down. Asking the fans to give you a dollar each is not like ask, but that's like those fucking things on TV, the, uh, the, the animal rescues and shit for 98 cents a day, the feeding kids in Somalia and stuff for 83 cents a day for the, uh, the, the, um, cost of a cup of coffee a day, you can change a child's life, you know, et cetera, the St. Jude's Foundation, all these things, right? Charities that help people. That's what those are, right? They help fucking jar, giant groups or countries of people or animals that are in bad situations, Right. He already got the money that he needed for his fucking treatments. But he's upset because he thought he was going to get more. He wanted all of his fucking followers to donate. Every one of his followers. Now, 
out of 71,000 followers, not even 71,000 are gonna see this post. Only a certain amount of them see it. So not even everybody is actually seeing what the fuck he's putting up every day. So a lot of people may not even know about that fucking GoFundMe page to begin with. But now he's threatening <laughs> to, to delete his Facebook and Instagram pages because his fans didn't give him enough money. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, you're trying to strong arm your fucking fans by telling them you're no longer going to put your social media up, which is, I went through it. It's not that inspirational. I'm sorry. Other than being an older man who's in great shape, which he still trains and stuff, but a lot of this is genetics, okay? The lot of how he looks is 100% genetics. Other than doing that, what the fuck are you doing for these fans? And I'm telling you right now that just by the reaction that I was reading this stuff, fans are only not fucking not interested in what the fuck is going on with him. They just remember him for being Arnold's friend. A lot of them just don't give a fuck. Most of these people were pissed because they're like, look, you don't even do shit for this. Why the fuck should I give you even a dollar? Like, because you put up some pictures? Well, don't put up the pictures. Like, a lot of them are just like, delete it then. Who gives a fuck? Like, it really kind of turned out to where people were like, okay, I don't even know why the fuck I'm reading this. They start unfollowing him. There's a bunch of people in the forums fucking unfollowing him and fucking being like, dude, fuck this guy. And then other people are popping up saying shit like, well, I've interacted with him. He's not a nice guy and shit. And I'm sitting there going, fuck. I mean, I would have you know, believed, I would have not believed that he wasn't a nice guy and shit if this post hadn't gone up. If he hadn't said the shit that he has in this post and acted like a greedy motherfucker who acts, let's face facts, he feels like he's so important that everybody should drop what they're doing and give him money for the fuck of it. Because he needed 7,000, but they, he should have gotten 71,000 because all of his fans should have fucking, and I'm like, this is, this is disheartening. Because this is somebody that people in the bodybuilding industry put up on a pedestal and I don't know why. I don't even know why. I mean, yes, he had a great physique, but there's been a lot of great physiques throughout the years. He never won the Mr. Olympia. So I'm kind of sitting back going, why the fuck is everybody, you know, going crazy about, or why the fuck is he going crazy about how all his fans should be donating to him? Like, here's the deal. With as little work as you do and as little inspiration as you give out now, 71,000 fans is pretty good. Like, that's doing pretty good. But a lot of these other bodybuilders, like Arnold and these other guys, Franco Colombo, if you look at what they have for followers, it's a fuck ton more. Why? Because they do more content. They do more stuff. They try to give back more so more people watch them. The more people that watch them that are invested in them. That's how that works. You're not doing a whole lot, Mr. Robinson, to expect to get that type of respect back. Like what you did fucking 40 years ago is not going to hold true to fucking today. What you're doing is living off of the past which, hey, you got 71,000 people that are into it. And I'm not going to say that I was a fan or I wasn't a fan. I mean, I respected Robbie Robinson. And I got to, you know, say, like, maybe he's having a fucking bad day. Maybe this post right here was him having a bad day and he's going to rethink this, which I hope that something like that will happen. But if this is how he really acts in real life, which people in the forums, you know, and the thing is, it's the Internet. So you don't know what's real in the forums or not. But there's people I respect in some of these forums that I know are not liars are flat out telling about interactions with him. And they're like, he's not a nice guy. Plain and simple, he's not a nice guy, which is why you don't see a whole lot from him. You don't see him at the shows and stuff. Like, he's just not that, that nice of a guy. He likes to do his own thing. He's very fucking into himself. And that's just how that is. And then you see this post and you're like, wow, somebody threatening to delete their shit like it was going to fucking ruin people's lives if your fucking Instagram wasn't there. Newsflash, what you're doing on Instagram, if you shut it down and shut down Facebook, all we have to do is Google Robbie Robinson and half the fucking pictures are still going to be up there because you put up a lot of old pictures of yourself that are fucking from magazines. So I'm like, what the fuck? Like, you try to leverage people with something that you don't have any leverage with, but you're showing them what an actual fucking dick you are by claiming that you should have gotten all this fucking money for doing nothing other than fucking being a bodybuilder. Like, let's face facts. You love being a bodybuilder. That's why you still do it. Your identity is a bodybuilder. That's why you still do it. So you doing something you love that is your identity, that is all you know how to do, you feel like people should pay you for that. Why? You haven't done anything fucking in so long. Why should they fucking even pay attention anymore? Like, it just doesn't make any sense, guys. It, it was disheartening, and it fucking really made me step back again and say, you know, there, there are a couple of guys, and I actually talked about this with Johnny Bravo the other night. There are a couple of guys that I've run into in the pro ranks that were fucking absolute assholes to me. I mean, flat-out dickheads that, you know, if we talk about this, it's going to hurt someone's reputation. I'm like, well, you know what? I don't need to hurt someone's fucking reputation from something they did to me. Maybe it was a bad day. Maybe it was an off day. Maybe they're good to other people. So, you know, the truth comes out eventually, like shit like this. Robbie didn't fucking do anything to anybody individual this time, but he did it to all of his friends saying, you know, time to get rid of, cancel my Facebook and my Instagram pages. I thought we were a team. What team? You make fucking pictures, people look at them, they go about their fucking day. What team? Like there is no fucking team. 
And then it says, you guys have a great day. So you threaten them, degrade them by saying, I thought we were a team, and then fucking say, have a good day. Like, makes no fucking sense, guys. So hopefully, um, you know, this is not something that um, is going to continue. Like, hopefully, maybe Robbie's like having a bad day and he'll kind of think about it and be like, wow, I was a fucking dickhead move and kind of, you know, fix it. You know, come back and say, look, guys, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. I was fucking having a bad day. I was in pain. I was on medication, whatever the case may be. But for now, like, it's just sitting there. And this is March 20th that he put it up. And it's obviously March 29th now, so it's over a week. And um, it's still there and nothing has really changed. So it is what it is, guys. You got to be careful who you put up on pedestals. And remember that, um, you know, even those guys that are legends in the sport can be... Uh, scumbags too biosteertraining at gmail.com leave comments down below but don't fight biosteertraining.com is a blog it's a fucking scumbag bicep and we are out